your life and, and fitness is something that we all can improve on, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. Whether you're starting at, at your beginning level or you're more advanced, we all can learn new things. The fitness industry is always changing with a lot of new uh, revolutions. You've got a lot of new fitness trends and crazes coming in. Um, right now you're seeing a lot of high-intensity workouts coming into um, the gyms and even at-home at workouts, videos that you're seeing. But here where I work in Planet Fitness in Webster Square, it's really a gym that caters to everyone, not your bodybuilder, powerlifter type. Right. You know, if you're looking to work out real hard and, and heavy, it's not going to be the gym for you because you're going to lift yourself out of it. Right. But if you're a beginner, if you're looking for a gym to um, maintain what you have and to continue to grow, it's a great gym no matter what age where you're at. And that's the thing. I think two, two things attract people to Planet Fitness. It's the price and as well as the fact that you're not going to get, what, what do you guys call it, lunks? Lunks, those guys <laughs> yeah, the who walk around and they're, just, uh, and they're walking around and they're smashing weights and yeah, hopefully you don't get it. We have the alarm to try to deter <laughs> that. But, uh, you know, every now and then you go. And what's nice with Planet Fitness and what we offer, we have the PE at PF, which is the physical education at Planet Fitness. So it's really one of the only uh, gym chains that you're seeing which offers that total free personal training on a daily basis, Monday through Friday. Wow. And it's a revolving week to week schedule. And any Planet Fitness that you go to, so if you have the black card, you know, you're allowed to jump nationally to any Planet Fitness in the country, right. they're going to offer that program. And they're all, they're all uh, coming on to it. So it's a really great program. Mm -hmm great for your money because if you're going to do a one-on-one -on -one personal training session you're going to pay you know fifty dollars for an hour session Badly. and there you, you yeah. get it in you're going to get a nice workout um they'll be happy to answer all the questions that you have and if you're in the area you want to come down to Worcester, webster webster square right. i'll be happy to help you out with any of the um, fitness questions that you have different goals that you have to and, get you in shape and one thing i want to i want to make clear here because i think a lot of people here gym they get intimidated they hear personal trainer, they're more intimidated because it's, and, and one thing somebody's always told, they say, you don't have to be in shape to go to the gym. And that's the thing. People think I need to get to a basic level of fitness before I'm, I'm in front of a trainer, before I'm at the gym. I need to do something before that. That's, that's not the case, correct? You can just All go, right, I, no. I can go and you, it's just like, you're just a fat guy. You want to go to the gym. I can say it as a no, fat you're guy. Come on. You're a fat guy. You want to go to the gym. You go there and they can go to you and, and yes. you're not going to judge them. You're not going to, you know, look down on them. You're just going to say, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make, right. we're going to make you better. And you cater it to their level, correct? Exactly. You know what? If, if you're thinking, I have to be in shape before I go go to the gym, then you, you think it's totally off because that's where you get into shape too, is at the gym. And everybody's at different stages in their lives. And for whatever reasons, you know, people have different circumstances. Sometimes you go through your life and you're feeling really good and everything's great and then it could be something totally out of your hands, out of control, where it takes you down for a little bit and you got to get yourself back up. But come into the gym, get yourself into a routine. And that's why I tell people, set something that's realistic for yourself. You know, when I, when I first get to sit down with people at the gym, and I, we have a little thing called Design Your Own. And it's something that I use to kind of get to know the client individually, make sure that they're in a good situation that they can continue to, to grow from, make sure there's no health issues or things that I need to be aware of so that way we can plan accordingly to that individual client. But, you know, set something that's realistic. Don't say you're going to come in every single day. Like, you just step into the gym and you're like, seven days a week, I'm ready to go. <laughs> That's not going to work. Because it's never going to happen. It's not going to happen. After, gonna happen. After a week or two, right. you're going to fall off. You know, so right. psychologically, you're going to feel like a failure. So if you set it where, you, it's, you're not setting the bar low, but you're setting it where it's realistic, where it's easy for you to maintain it. And then you can grow from there. So you have nice, positive, small achievements, and you continue to grow, progress forward, instead of going backwards. Absolutely. That's the way to do it. I think, you know, if people see, uh, the other the other problem out there is, and this is good for some people, those, you talked about the high intensity, you know, what is it, TRX or whatever the heck those things are, you see and you see TRX. these things and they're just like, you know, it's like, yeah, exactly, or the, the what's oh, yeah. it called, uh, insanity or whatever, insanity. it's like these crazy oh, yeah. workouts out there, they're good for people who are already here, you know, they're already at a 10, um, versus, you know, other people who just want to come in and that's that's what you're going to do, and I think that's, that's where a lot of people who are looking to lose weight, do something. It's always positive to do something, even if it's small, do something positive. Walking, going outside, just doing an activity that you it normally is. wouldn't do. A absolutely, you know, anything is better than nothing. Right. But then doing it the right way is just gonna put you on that next level. A lot of people, when they come into the gym, unfortunately what you see, 
if they feel intimidated and shy, which is why you know we try to be open and friendly and make it make it so that we we're approachable. Sure. But if you come into the gym and you start looking at other people, unfortunately, those people many times are doing it the wrong way. Yeah. And then the next person learns, oh, that's how you do it, and then someone else is watching them, and it's that continual pattern where they're doing it the wrong way. Whereas if you took the time to learn it the right way, you're gonna maximize your time in the gym because let's face it, everybody's busy. Every right. second counts. Right. When you're trying to, if you have a family, a job, you know, school for kids that are in college. You got a busy schedule, so when you come into the gym, you want to maximize your time in the gym. And you don't have to be in the gym for two to three hours. Sure. You know, if you're doing it right, you can get a solid workout in an hour, be in and out, and feel great. And if you do it early, later, whenever, whenever you need to do it, that's great. Set the time when it's good for you, when you know you're going to come in and do it, and then maximize your benefit by doing it the right way. And that's what we're there for. To answer any questions that people have, set them up with, uh, whether it's that routine where they're looking to maybe put on a little muscle mass, where they're looking to slim down and, and, and tone up to lean out. Whatever it is, if they're a little bit older and they just want to rehab, try to get the, the strength back in the body where they're a little bit weaker in certain areas, we're there to make it, do, make it happen. We're there to help. That's great. And, and by the way, people of all ages, correct? Cause all ages. some people listening Absolutely. here who are 92 years old down to, you know, we have Tyler who's one of our callers who's 11 years old. So I have know. clients, I have younger kids who come with their parents who are, you know, teenagers, 15, 16. I have clients in the 70s and 80s wow. who come in. I have some in the 70s and 80s, which is amazing. They do fantastic. You, you, you wouldn't ever think they're that old. You know, they look like they're in the 50s with the way they're moving. But they're doing a fantastic job. And when they came in, they weren't moving that well at all. But you can see how great the progression is. I have some clients where, you know, one I think of in particular, the challenges that he's faced because he's gone through amputee, different issues, and he's doing, doing amazing. And when you fix what's uh, wrong internally, so you take care of the internally, it, radiates externally. You know, you start seeing the results. So yeah, you want to look good, and if that's the motivation you need to get yourself in the gym, then, then do it. Mm. But fix what's in, inside, get your, get your heart healthy, you know? Right. Get the respiratory system healthy, your circulatory system. So then that's going to radiate externally, and you not only look good, but you're going to feel good. Well, Jordan, you got a great perspective on this, and we really appreciate it. Down at the, uh, the Worcester location of Planet Fitness, we really appreciate the time. And you're there Monday through Friday? I'm there Monday through Friday, yeah, we have a revolving week to week schedule. Mondays and Fridays, I'm there early from 6 a.m. to 1230. But you pulled me out of there today, so you got a couple clients that are a little unhappy with you. They're going to come down sorry, there. Sorry, sorry. I'm picking it outside right now, so <laughs> don't be surprised. But uh, then Tuesday, um, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm there in the afternoon into the evening. So we try to hit people all different schedules to make it work. Good stuff. Jordan, thank you so much. Appreciate the time. You're welcome. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, folks, we got to take the time out here on the Paul Westcott Show. We're going to wrap up the hour here. And then on the other side, automotive genius Mike Quincy with us the entire hour from Consumer Reports Automotive answering your questions.